Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and today I'm doing a reaction video to an ASMR video and this ASMR is I subscribed to recently which I should have subscribed a while a long time ago but I didn't but I recently did last week when I was on vacation. This ASMR is also one of the executive producers of TangoCon. His name is Nathan ASMR, and I'm going to react to his video. ASMR Overwatch GM Coaches Echo Plat Tips. Whisper and Soft Spoken. Let's check this out. Let me turn my little down a little bit because I don't know how long it's going to be. Here we go. Hey there. How's it going? And host. But, um, I'm just getting back to getting my videos on track, and so it's of course time for another Overwatch mod review. So today we're going to be doing a um, an Echo mod review. So normally I do I request comp matches um, because I think they're pretty good representation of skill. one of these characters that I feel pretty confident with. Um, she's not my number one DPS, but she's in my toolkit. Mm. Um, she's pretty good to have just as an option because she's very versatile. And one actually just random thing, I like to use her to get back to like, if there's very little time that I want to get to point. Um, some people choose Tracer or Genji or something, but I actually do like to choose Echo because she can uh, cover pretty good distance. Mm -hmm. She can fly and transform to the other just go ahead and heroes in the game. Um, again, I believe this is a um, flat DPS player. Um, I think they've had some ups and downs struggling to just sort of keep rank, but um, I think we can all relate to that to some degree. Never but, play competitive, sorry. Um, why don't we go ahead and dive into this match and see what we can learn. And just again, we can talk about some of the basic, because um, I think there's a lot of different perspectives to take with Echo, such as what style are you going to play? Um, are you a, someone who sits in the back and kind of um, from range, are you going in stealthily, and um, are you just taking out heroes and getting out? Um, but I think the most important thing with with Echo before we begin is really that you need to know the combos for her. I mean, I think that's extremely important. Um, having the beam. those in conjunction uh, and of course using your flight ability to get in and out because for me I think my favorite style is kind of diving in um, from an angle like using my combos quickly or maybe I'll kind of keep an eye out for a character that has low health and then use my E hmm. but I like to get a kill and get out and I think that's she's really good with that kind of play style Good tips so far. Good tips. So, Good tips. Without further ado, let's let's jump into this right here. All right, so let's get into this. So we've got uh, Genji selected here. I think you were gonna set the Genji or Tracer video, but um, I really thought Echo was uh, kind of a poignant choice right now. I've got a lot of requests to, to talk about her. So. Oh, Ash. 
positions. There we go. <laughs> I know how that goes. Spawn in position. I know how that is. Hmm. Okay. So what we have on our team right now is a Mercy, Anna, Diva, Reinhardt, and McCree. And the other team has a Hanzo, Echo, Moira, Zarya, and Baptiste. Mm -hmm. Works great. Should be good uh, matches. Uh, Should be a good match. Let's see what we do. So, okay, I'm seeing some good usage right now. Good deal, 51%. You had your beam there. Let's go back for a second uh, because I think that was something. Now what you do see is that while you did get a lot of damage and you built up your bolt charge, which is huge, you didn't get any kills and your mercy died. So I think it's important to, to try to control what you can control because of course you know your teammates have played in every play. You know, it's not just you, but in this instance. is what really differentiates Echo from uh, some other players. First of all, you had Flight available here. Um, you can see they have they have some DP, uh, they have some anti-air, they've got mm -hmm. uh, Hanzo, who, you know, that's meh. Moira, she can get a little bit off. Uh, and yeah, they've only got just a little bit, but nobody that can, like, necessarily mm -hmm. one-shot you. So what I would do here is, upon seeing that you've got some splash damage here. I would have been jumped in with my beam. Just mm. you know for sure. Mm. Okay. Okay. Good tips. So Good you've tip. Got your flight and you've got your beam. Let's see, I would be. See, you're backing up here, but you could have gone just a little bit, like right in this area here, and, uh, and utilized your beam. Okay. So far, good tips. Okay, so you've got, got a good aim here. I mean, you're, you're definitely getting landing shots, building a full charge. Um, let's see. Mm. Okay, so you died here. Let's take a look at, let's go rewind here and see if we can. Okay. Or so that more beam, more beam. More targets. If you just echo. Like we're below half health and you've got your beam, you get to wipe out that old team from there. Hmm. Again, you're spamming the left click. It was too late at that point. Hmm. Getting shots off, so that's good. But you're not, uh, you're not timing your beam combo well enough, mm. and as as annoying and kind of like nitpicking as it sounds, that's really really important. I think right now I'm just seeing some uh, again good aim, good old charge, but I think you're not getting utilizing your flight uh, to get in and out well enough. You're you're sort of sitting in traditional flight patterns, I would be like, you're not utilizing this right side here. It could be a little bit better. Mm. Okay, so that's our first ultimate. Let's see what happens. That's pretty intense. Really good to craft there. Not sure anyone can follow up with that. Hmm. Surprised to find that. That's great. Agreed. I want to halt this momentum here. So, I think one thing to note with, uh, 
Echo's ult is that um, use it like think about what the other team has again I think Echo has a huge skill ceiling I mean because she requires some game knowledge to know like when to use that ability and who to choose you have to know mm -hmm. who counters who but in short I think supports can be really good very strong Brigitte, for example, just getting off a quick rally. I like to use that a lot. Um, you know, characters that are going to provide value, sometimes mm -hmm. a second tank even. I hesitate to choose another DPS sometimes. I, I do occasionally go Blade with Genji, but I would say for me personally, and I, again, this is like based on your style of play, but I would probably choose support or tank that's just me probably because i play support or tank but hmm. I've, I've spoken about echo with other really high rank players and that is one thing that um, i have gotten feedback on so maybe you have a, another opinion on that but i do find that you know getting another support in there like a breaking tear or something can be valuable mm -hmm. so hmm. i do like the zarya grab idea but the problem here is that you didn't have any um like you had diva bomb she's at 84 percent so if you would add somebody who could have utilized the grab a little better i probably would have chosen her <laughs> I, I, that's when i would have chosen sorry let's keep going hmm. not bad advice This is going to be one round because it is QP. So didn't quite connect there. So look at that. That's another example. Um, if we can just go here, I mean, this is going to be kind of nitpicking, but if this had been now you're in plat and you're looking to get up into a higher rank, so you have to be considering how competition is going to be played you know because mm -hmm. that's one of the things i think people are like oh i went on a huge kill streak like the game matches you with people of similar skill usually mm -hmm. although this is qp but you have to imagine you're playing Good against point. a higher rank and, and frankly like <laughs> it is really unfortunate but a very high rank nonsense is going to get that headshot on you mm -hmm. not sooner mm -hmm. or you didn't even need to use the beam at all so i think again right here maybe this is just like you were just popping off all your abilities but mm -hmm. i might have yeah be careful because look right here you're gonna get you're gonna get this bat but i didn't see who the other person was but um let's see right here oh no moira imagine if you'd had your your beam right here <laughs> I see, and it is a big deal here. Let's see if we can finish off the Moira. Mm -hmm. So, nice. I think what you're doing well right now is you're, you're landing hits. Um, you're not dying a lot or anything like that. I think your position mm -hmm. could be improved just because it would open up. Like, for example, you could, you're sort of in a just a main lane of battle here. I would probably, because again, I tend to. Like a stealthy mm -hmm. hit from ankles and then fly in combo, get out. Mm -hmm. So here, let's see here. If you like, you like the Zarya. Um, <laughs> see again because you didn't. They don't have a lot of Zarya. Mm -hmm. um, like the characters that Zarya is good against. Again, I, I don't see anyone that can really combo with that 
grab. Um, so I think that I actually would have maybe done like Baptiste, Moira, or Rissa. Actually, in all honesty, one of those one of those characters that mm-hmm. would have been my choice. Um, they have a lot of range, so actually, a Rissa like could be pretty good. Okay, good pressure on the Sansa here. Get used to shit that combo. to see a little bit better positioning here. I think you're sort of in the main lane of battle. You could you could widen the field mm-hmm. of battle here by pushing up on that top right where that tank is. Um, you got your beam there, there's some half health people right mm-hmm. there. You could have gotten the Arisa. Always be watching for the half health. But again, right here, same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got your ult, Zarya. You grab that, looks like a big grab. good on that McCree. He's connected mm-hmm. a few times, so that's been really good. Again, though, I don't think he's the, the like optimal choice um, as a combo with the graph, but it's worked here so far. But if it was higher rank, mm-hmm. um, especially because um, they might have a secondary ult, so which is usually pretty likely. They, they're generating those ults pretty here again positioning could do some improvement um, it's another grab didn't really do too much there mm. again the grabs are not doing too much I mean they I think you had one that was connected pretty well there but um, the combo you have I mean actually right there the grab didn't even necessarily get you all those mm-hmm. kills there which is interesting mm. I think that's more to do with the other Zarya player but <laughs> I do I think you need to be thinking of like what's going to get you the most effective use, and so therefore I would probably not have chosen Sorry, And I'm hammering in on that one, but. Alright, let's mm-hmm. see here. <laughs> so, again, we use the beam there, but. Okay, so if you stop for a second there, let's look at what happens here. So, coming in here. Okay. <laughs> really have to think about and I, although grab is a very powerful ult um, I do think it's one of those things that you have to be thinking about who can uh, use the, uh, the grab or something like again it's really just your diva mm-hmm. I mean McCree's gotten lucky a little bit I mean it's possible but again not the most likely to use mm-hmm. and so now you're just staggered here I would hold back a little bit take yeah take that high ground that's great that's Sort of the first time I've seen you take a little bit indirect angle. I would like to see that a little bit more. So one thing that just philosophically to think about here is Echo. Like I said, she uses combos, so you're not mm-hmm. getting a lot of like. Wow, that's a great mm-hmm. Jedi. So Chris mm-hmm. getting a lot of value there. Um, but you should be mm-hmm. thinking about. Mm-hmm. How can you melt down um, these characters? Uh, it's a little too late, unfortunately. It's actually that and Dead Eye, but you need to be thinking about how you can um, <laughs> melt people down, get those combos, because she's really good at that burst damage that makes her very powerful. 
so we have duplicate again. Let me go with the Zarya. <laughs> mm. Okay, go ahead and put the feet behind the hind flank. It's very dangerous. Very lucky they didn't mm -hmm. see you there. But looks like this is going to work out. <laughs> work on that one. Um, you're, you're, the characters you're choosing to attack, you're, you're choosing the like pretty good <laughs> characters to attack. You chose the bad one, um, Brigitte, so. All right. Okay, so correction, maybe this actually was a, uh, a combat. So I'll take <laughs> it back. My apologies. Uh, what I said earlier. That it's all good. It's all good. Trying to doze off. Boost. All right. Okay, I like your teams moving in. That's I like that. <laughs> They're not uh, not wasting time. All right, throwing a lot of spam damage. That's great. Again, set up the off angle attack here. Move far right. <laughs> I think I think using another uh, main tank in the future might have been uh, something I would have done for some of those other duplicates. We'll bring around the rose here with this McCree. This McCree, unfortunately, should just die. I mean, <laughs>
hold up your little chart and um, and hope for the best. But like you know, die as fast as possible so you can get back with your team. That's all you can do. Mm -hmm. All right, I like the over the roof movement in there. That's that's good. I will be doing more of that. And, um, one way to learn some of those like roots. That's the word I use. Um, but is to follow mm -hmm. other big streamers and things like that. Um, who you can follow their movements. I think that's really helpful, um, especially with Doom, but also with Echo. Just sort of seeing, even with McCree, seeing where they're positioning. Oh, it's very helpful. So that's what I would say about that. Pretty decent melting there. <laughs> Again, it, it wasn't, it seems like you're just hitting it. I would try to be a little more deliberate. Um, that was good. Good combo. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we get this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tease, there we go. There you go. Much better this time around, actually. Okay, good job. So you've done some flanks that I think mm -hmm. would be really risky in higher ranks. Like you're, the flanks I've seen, you've sort of. Too much. Again, so I am tired of there. Has been, <laughs> has been pretty decent. Um, you've gone after the healers. So that was a good game. All right. So with all that said, <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for sending this in. Um, mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. It was a great game. I think on attack you dominated them, dominated them to the point where I probably <laughs> can't help too much with any advice there. But on defense, I think there's some some. skills but it was like uh, swing swing uh, <laughs> ace swings or is it swing swing stun swing swing ace it's like mm -hmm. those combos really do set apart I think for players getting into the higher ranks and once you get those combos down I believe that it will help you improve your positioning which is the other area that I think I mean I really want to help you get to a high rank I think that's what you want so of the battle would have helped quite a bit. I saw a little bit too much just spamming down the main choke area, and I think if you had used, again, the cooldowns using there, mm -hmm. the flight ability to go and open up the field of battle from the far right, far left, that's gonna, that's gonna really help. And when you know the combos, you're gonna feel more confident making those runs, because, again, you're sort of just
in, mm-hmm. in certain situations. But do you have a character that can follow up on that grab? Um, maybe a second shield or another mermaid shield if we don't have a main deck. Um, or another supportal might be more powerful. So that's something to think mm-hmm. about. <laughs> that was good that was good and enjoyable sorry it looks like I'm dozing off I am tired I'm gonna go to bed so I just worked last night shift 10 hour shift I wanna get this in and I'll upload it later but this is great coaching nonetheless this is uh, he got a video presented in by a player who needs some tips and some help with Echo so that was really good I really enjoy it Sorry, I look like I'm dozing, kind of like I'm dozing off, but I am tired, so hopefully I get some sleep. That was really good. I'd like to see, check out his other videos with other characters too. I could probably learn some, yeah, basically mostly the call mode. Gotta learn the mostly Echo's call modes and stuff like that. And plus get used to her flight ability as well. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Shout out to you, Nathan ASMR, for being the host and that could be sure of TangoCon. If you like my reaction, please leave a like, comment, and also please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'll post the link to Nathan's channel in my description box so you can go check out his content and also get him a subscribe. Subscribe to him and also turn on notifications that way you know when his content is up. With being said, I hope you have a safe and wonderful Sunday, and I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe. Stay humble and be a blessing.